to talk about MPW a little bit this morning. Um, company had its uh, its first quarter earnings call yesterday. You know, basically, uh, you know, my, my my rebuttal to the rebuttal that wasn't really a rebuttal. Um, I, I guess I, I would look. Let's just call it the way it is. Um, the company elected to choose violence yesterday, and uh, probably spent about. 30% of the conference call um, rather than kind of credibly presenting data, facts, information to support their case, you know, went down the road of, um, and it's, it's there for everyone to, everyone to hear and see and read. And I, actually I would encourage people to, to listen to it. Went down the road of, you know, not, you know, non-credible third party reports, not all analysts and commentators are created equal come to us if you want the real information, um, you know, uh, so that, that's, that's fine. Um, but I think what, what matters and what's ultimately going to matter in the end is the data and the math and the facts. And so what I'm going to do is just continue to pound on that. We're just, just red flags everywhere, right? Like if you have the facts on your side and you're credible and you know, you're a, uh, a, a more, let's call it a more than equal or above average management team, you don't have to resort to making statements like that. And so I believe that, and, and listen again, listen to the call. Uh, it, it was a, nothing short of an absolute embarrassment for that management team. And, um, you know, let's, let's see how the, the situation plays out, you know, based upon the facts. You know, these patterns of behavior by management teams are rhythmic. I'm not going to call it what Lynn Energy was because Lynn Energy went to zero and Lynn Energy is Lynn Energy, but this company is this company. The, the pattern of behavior to defend with, first of all, call, call you irrelevant and spend half the call talking about you. I mean, there's obviously hip hypocrisy in that and an insecurity embedded in it as well. But all I got to say to the management team, which clearly you guys are listening right now, good luck. I, I agree. I mean, look, I, I, you know, I just go back, go back and watch my presentation. Um, I, I very methodically presented the facts and the data, which is, which is there for anyone who takes the time to see it. Um, and, you know, as, as I, I think I tend to do, it's like, okay, you know, investors should know this stuff and then react accordingly and decide whether or not, you know, this is an investable stock. And, uh, I think when, you know, when you, when you present kind of cherry picked arguments that are like nonsensical to, to rebut a fact-based argument and, and train of thought, and then in the process, you know, try to discredit people along the way, um, I mean, kind of speaks for itself, right? Like I, I you know, I know which side I'm on. Um, <laughs> it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.